Welcome back. And, uh, you know, it's no secret in my view that uh, uh, religious freedom is under attack in this country, has been for quite some time, especially under the uh, the Obama administration, and we could point to many uh, different aspects and examples of uh, uh, why I believe that that is the case, as I as I have done on this show uh, many many times. Um, and our freedom of speech uh, has been under attack uh, for a long, long time. Um, and our freedom of speech, you know, Al Sharpton has become. If you go back to even the Imus incident, uh, Al Sharpton is the guy that everybody has to run to uh, if you say something that's racially offensive, and he gets to decide if you you know, in fact, live or die in your profession, which is a sham and a, and a farce to begin with. Uh, but it's gotten uh, worse and worse. And, of course, conservatives are always held to that double standard, in my view. I think we've documented that here, too, on this show, time after time after time. Vicious, vile, vulgar remarks by those on the left, whether they're radio hosts or MSNBC commentators or politicians, uh, and they survive and they get, they, you know, they, they get out of it unscathed. But if you're conservative and you say something, uh, boy, oh boy, uh, you better watch it. And uh, our next guest claims that he is a victim of just that. Craig James, you know the name, former NFL running back, uh, former sportscaster for ESPN, ABC, CBS, and most recently at uh, Fox Sports joins us. Hey, Craig, how are you, sir? I'm great, Steve. Thank you so much for having me. It's it's my attorney, Hiram Sasser. Hello, Hiram. Hey, thanks for having me. And hey, Hiram is from. Thank you, Hiram is from Liberty uh, Institute. All right, uh, so so Craig, why don't you uh, tell your story? You believe that you were let go uh, by Fox Sports, and you believe that it was based on something that you had said during a Senate run when you were seeking the Senate um, back uh, over a year prior. Yeah, exactly. See, that's the crazy thing. This my statements for what I was fired over occurred during a, a candidate debate forum. When I was asked what the definition of marriage was, and I said it's between a man and a woman, my biblical belief, it's what God tells me. I believe all of the Bible, not part of the Bible. So let me kind of run you through this brief deal. Uh, Fox Sports Southwest called and asked if I would be interested in joining their Saturday evening programming for a one-hour show. And I said, hey, that'd be great. Friday night, Labor Day weekend, they issue a, a national press release, very flattering, complimentary. Craig James joining us. He'll be an asset to the coverage. Saturday night, the next day, I did my show, felt like things went well. Sunday, the next day, I get a phone call that evening from the general manager saying that Fox Sports, the parent company, the, the holding company out in California, they are no longer going to allow this to happen. You're done. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. Well, the next morning, I come to find out, a Fox spokesperson told the Dallas Morning News that my answer and my statement that I had made as a candidate for the Senate on um, what I thought marriage was would not fly in their HR department. Well, and yeah, so I'm in a little trouble hearing you right now. You said that 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 uh, Dallas Morning News statement from Fox said that it would not fly, correct? Right, it would not fly in the HR department. He couldn't make those statements around here. So my biblical belief, the right that I have in this country as an American citizen in the First Amendment, I am being punished, fired because I hold that belief. Right, and I don't believe that this is about uh, whether you believe, uh, you know, in gay marriage or don't believe in gay marriage. I believe it's about freedom of speech. Although I will say, and you know, and I'm playing devil's advocate here to an extent, Hiram, uh, Hiram Sasser, uh, uh, Craig's attorney. Um, d- let me just ask you this: um, Does uh, a broadcast? Um, uh, well, I guess, I guess the difference. I'm answering my own question as I think about it. He didn't say this on the air at Fox. That's right. It, would have, it, would have, exactly it right. probably would have been different if he said that, you know, in a sports cast about gay marriage in the on the air at Fox, and they'd have every right to say that doesn't belong in our sports cast. But this is something he said uh, over a year prior that they uh, you believe fired him that's for, right. and that's what distinguishes it. Correct? Well, it, look, that's a lot. That's a that's a it's a big difference between him saying it on the air. Uh, uh, you know, w- as an employee uh, or, or representing Fox, it's a, that's a big difference between that and what they're essentially doing here is they're punishing him for his belief. They're saying, look, we heard you say this 15 months ago, and, and we've decided people like you who hold those types of beliefs, who would say those things in their own time, uh, those types of people are not the type of people that we want to have at Fox Sports. That's what's dangerous about this. What's dangerous about this is this is the equivalent of you got fired because somebody overheard what you said at your Sunday school 
classroom or they or they or they saw a Facebook uh, uh, posting that you did in your own personal space uh, talking about your biblical beliefs and, and and getting fired and terminated because of what you believe and what you stand for and and, and especially when it's a position that you know here Craig was taking this in the Senate uh, debate uh, running for in the primary uh, of the of the Senate uh, in Texas. He took a position that 76 percent of the te- of Texans had just voted on a few years ago, uh, agreeing with that uh, with that same position. So uh, it, it, it's it's shameful that Fox would fire somebody for holding that uh, belief or any religious belief for that matter. And Hiram is is the smoking gun in this case, so to speak. Uh, the the uh... The, the statement made to the Dallas Morning News, uh, the saying that this would not by the Fox representative saying this would not fly in human resources. Well, I, I will say that that is a big smoking gun. And, you know, look, all the, you know, even if they wanted to fire him for an illegal purpose, even if they wanted to engage in religious discrimination against him, they could have they could have just said, you know, we're firing uh, Greg for unnamed reasons or whatever. But it didn't go out affirmatively putting these statements out in the press that it was because of his religious belief. It was because of what he what he believed, his biblical uh, worldview about marriage in, in this particular case. Saying those types of things, trying to smear him in public, that's the dangerous thing. That's the thing that, that is just really so appalling about what Fox did here. We're talking to Craig James, uh, former NFL running back and uh, former uh, uh, sports analyst uh, and sportscaster, most recently on Fox Sports, and his attorney, Hiram Sasser, from Liberty Institute here on the Steve Malzberg Show. Craig, let me ask you this. Um, you, you, you've watched over the years the way Tim Tebow's been treated. Um, what is it about... Um, you know, Christian beliefs, uh, openly religious Christian men, especially, you know, evangelical types or white Christian men, because, you know, I see, uh, you know, Muhammad Ali used to say, you know, uh, Allah, every time he gave an interview, thanked Allah, never any criticism about that. Of course, that was way before any, you know, any um, connection to any kind of Al-Qaeda or anything like that. And criticism about that. Of course, that was way before any, you know, any um, connection to any kind of Al Qaeda or anything like that. And I want to thank God. Without God, I wouldn't be here. Many Hispanic ball players cross themselves either when they come to the plate or they cross themselves uh, uh, after they hit a home run and or uh, or if a uh, football, you know, after they score a touchdown, cross themselves uh, uh, after they hit a home run and or uh, or if a uh, football, you know, after they score a touchdown, people are, are given passes. Well, in my particular, and I like Tim. I'm a fan. I'm a friend of his. Uh, I, I respect him for his positions. Um, I've been in broadcasting for over 20 years. Never had a problem at all. I've always been a believer. Uh, people who work with me know that what I believe in, my Lord and Savior. But I don't run it down their throat. They know who I am and what I stand for. Right. Uh, I played as a football player for many years with black guys, white guys, brown guys, all kinds of different backgrounds. Never had an issue with those guys. Matter of fact, they voted me a captain of the teams. So all of a sudden, here I am. I have this belief. It comes out, and, and it's being held against me. And I think, Steve, this is where we are, to answer your question. We're a fork in the road in America. It's been going on for a while. But now employees, uh, uh, employers are becoming emboldened to go out and challenge those who have a faith that perhaps bring them heat and pressure from the other side. It's a one-way street. It's okay for someone else to say something and get away with it, but if you have a faith right now like I have, uh, you can't hold that and not be punished for it. Yeah, no. I mean, uh, you know, they could. They, it happened to be uh, your your comments on gay marriage. Maybe, maybe uh, on another day, they would have uh, come up with a statement you made at one point uh, during the campaign that you were running for Senate uh, on abortion. It might not have liked that it was something you might have said about that. It might not have flown in human resources in in, in Fox uh, in their opinion. So you, you, it it just uh, it opens up a whole a whole Pandora's box, does it not, uh, Hiram? Yeah, you know, it, it, it certainly does. And, here, and here's, I was I was talking to a reporter, and they said, well, you know, is it really a problem with, re, you know, people of, of, of faith and religious liberty uh, being challenged uh, in the workplace? And I said, well, why don't you just do an experiment for me? Why don't you just put on your Twitter or Facebook that you believe in in uh, in, in the biblical definition of marriage? And, and let's put the over-under on you getting terminated in about 30 minutes. Uh, if you don't think there's a problem uh, in, in corporate America today, you just put that on Twitter, you put that on Facebook, and you see what happens when you go see the boss tomorrow. All right, so what's what's the legal uh, procedure here? What are you doing? Uh, where are we? And what are you hoping to gain? Well, sure. Well, we have a hearing on November 5th. 
uh, in order to, uh, to so that we can try to uh, take some depositions and get a hold of some key documents uh, from Fox Sports so we can get to the bottom of investigating these claims. Uh, but, but, you know, it, we have laws in this country. It's still a country we can get to the bottom of investigating these claims. Uh, but, but, you know, it, we have laws in this country. It's still kind of protecting religious uh, uh, expression and, and, and religious uh, activities and religious statements uh, that are made uh, that you cannot be discriminated by your employer uh, if you're a person of faith and you happen to say something uh, like, like Craig did. You can't be fired for that in this right, country. Right. And it's been that way since 1964. Well, these laws are still in the books, and they have to be enforced. They have to be vigorously enforced. I mean, it may be in vogue to, 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 try, to, to try to take down Craig James over this, uh, over, over, over his biblical beliefs on, on this particular issue, marriage. Uh, but uh, the bottom line is it's still a nation of laws, and people are held accountable. Craig, uh, what, what's been the reaction from colleagues, from fans, from friends? You know, uh, you getting a lot of support? Oh, absolutely. Tons of support. And matter of fact, it's interesting how many people come up to me on the streets now and are saying how they're afraid to have their opinions, uh, biblical opinions and beliefs, out there because of what their employers might do. And then I'm also finding out, and this is the thing that's putting fuel in my fire, I'm finding that there are those who don't want to get engaged because they're afraid of the blowback that they'll get or that their clients uh, will give them for representing someone who has a belief like this. Totally unacceptable, man. This is the United States of America. I'm going to blow this horn, and we are going to fight to preserve what the United States Constitution provides for us. And and the media. How's the media coverage been? Hard to get. uh, Have you gotten, like, on the morning shows, the Today Show, or let let me guess, no. (laughs) Hey, very interesting, isn't it? Uh, no, you're absolutely right in your answer, but we are getting a lot of uh, conservative and Christian uh, support, and uh, we're, it, hey, we're not going away. Fox is going to have to admit, own up, and be responsible for their actions. The chilling effect, if we were to let this just be swept under the rug, is unacceptable. It would be too grave, the consequences for those down the road. It's time for us to stand up and be heard. You know, guys, I remember, I, I, don't, I think it was after their first Super Bowl win, the New York Giants, Several of them did a video. You could probably Google this uh, and find it on a, a pro-life video. Mark Bavaro, Phil Sims, many of them were in it. Uh, and I remember playing it. And I wonder how something like that uh, would fly today. You know, if somebody, if a, if a winning, a Super Bowl winning team or an NBA championship team either did a, a, a marriage video, traditional marriage video or a pro-life video, uh, I, wonder, I, w- I wonder what Bob Costas, uh, who, who's now the social arbiter, I guess, of, uh, of the NFL um, and, and our society, what, would say about that. No, I, it would, I, I tell you what, the, the uh, ownership would not be friendly to having that type of video produced today coming from a locker room be afraid again because of the pushback, the blowback, the results that they would get from the other side of the street. All right, well, let me ask you, Craig, real quick. Uh, surprises this uh, NFL season, <clears throat> a great, great, great comeback. Uh, I mean, the last second victory by Brady and company uh, uh, on Sunday, that was, a, that was a thriller. Oh, man. I tell you, I thought I was going to have to come back with my 50, 52-year-old body and start playing <laughs> wide receiver. But that was great. You know, the Giants, where they are right now, is, is, a, is really amazing. But it just shows you how delicate it is in the NFL and winning. Man, it's a, it's a long road to the penthouse and a short one to the outhouse. What, what do you think? Of, you, you feel for Coughlin and Manning? I mean, Manning, you know, athletes have uh, ups and downs. But, I mean, if, if it continues, does Coughlin get uh, bounced in midseason? Well, I, I don't know if it's midseason. The guy knows football. He's won. He's got, he knows how to do it. Sometimes, though, the old pep talk just stops pepping, and players have to be held responsible for their p- performance as well. Uh, they're good players in that locker room. But once you go south and everybody starts thinking about packing the car for the offseason, it's really hard to be competitive. Yeah. All right. Listen, Craig and, uh, and uh, uh, Hiram, please keep in touch with us and, and let us know, and we'll follow this case, uh, and uh, good luck. Thank you, Steve, hey, so for much for having me. All right, my pleasure. All right, there you go. Uh, former NFL uh, uh, player for the uh, running back for the New England Patriots, uh, Craig James, and also sportscaster uh, most recently at Fox Sports and uh, says that he was fired for what he said 14 months prior uh, while he was uh, running for uh, a Senate seat 
and uh, talking about his religious beliefs as they regard uh, as they pertain to marriage, traditional marriage, and his attorney Hiram Sasser from Liberty Institute. Uh, you know, it's kind of chilling. Um, again, uh, it, it's kind of his word against uh, Fox's, except for the fact that uh, a Fox official did make a statement to the Dallas Morning News saying that when they saw that statement or became aware of that statement from 14 months prior, they realized it wasn't going to fly at HNR or HR, which is human resources. So that, like I described it and, and it was affirmed uh, as uh, that description was affirmed by the attorney, that's a smoking gun. That that's That's trouble, I think, as a... As a person who is not a lawyer but likes to play and make believe in his mind that sometimes he's a lawyer. All right, folks, you want to weigh in on this case or, or what we've talked about with Steve Lonigan and, and Corey Booker? Um, 877-NEWSMAX. 877-NEWSMAX. The brand new number. I am so psyched for that number right here on the Steve Malsberg Show, Newsmax TV and